Hey everybody, how are you and welcome back to my channel. How the hell are you? How the hell are you? How the hell are you? I'm super stressed. <laughs> School's killing me. I'm thinking, like I said before, or maybe you haven't, I don't know. Um, but I'm thinking about charging them with manslaughter because they are fucking killing me. Um, guys, what is going on? I feel like it's always been a minute since I've been on here. I'm in school, so, like, I really don't have time to be recording and, like, uploading twice a week and all that jazz. Um, school is what it is. I don't know if a lot of you know this, but, like, I'm in my 30s. And when I was 31, well, when I was 30, I decided that it was time to go back to school. And I'm really happy with my decision. I love being in school. It's fun. It's, like, interactive, the program I'm taking, Media Communications. But it's a lot. It is so much. And one, excuse me, one issue that I'm really finding hard um, to deal with is, like, assignments. And how uh, professors decide to give an assignment. It's, like... When I get a piece of work, I like to sit down and do it and see it to completion. I like to just start all my pieces and then put them together. But in school, it doesn't really work that way. One thing that I'm finding very difficult is like, I'll have an assignment for like four weeks. That's a long time. Give it to me in two weeks and I'll have it done. But four weeks and each week I get a new part of the assignment. So it's not even like I can just go off and do it. I have to... I have to wait, I have to do a little bit. But then the problem is, is that you don't get motivated to do it until you have all the pieces and then you're left scrambling at the last minute. I haven't got my hair cut in weeks, I haven't shaved, like, I'm just, I'm dealing with my own demons, guys. Like, sound off below, right? If like, if you feel the stress of your life, like I literally will just be sitting there chilling and all of a sudden my, my heart will sink into my chest and I'll be like, or like in my stomach and I'm like, whoa, what was that? And it's like my anxiety coming out saying, hey, shouldn't you be doing this? Hey, shouldn't you be doing this? Why are you chilling when you should be doing this? It's just like, you need to stop, okay? Because like, I need to chill. I need chill time. But sometimes I look back and I'm like, did I chill too much? It's just like this constant circle. You know what I mean? I am so excited for December 14th. Oh, God. By the time this posts, it might be a month away. Who knows? I'm terrible at posting schedules lately because we'll get into that later. But I'm done this semester and I'm pretty sure my friends are having a blowout Christmas party that night and I am probably gonna get inebriated. Like, let's just get real, you know what I'm saying? Like, I will need this so bad. It was just Halloween a couple whatevers ago. It might be days, it might be weeks, who knows? Um, and I got super inebriated. Like, I dressed up as a giant jellyfish, insert photo here. It was great, but it was too big for the house party. So two years in a row, I've made a costume that is absolutely too big. And next year, I'm thinking about being Kim Kardashian as a naked selfie. So I have to buy like a bodysuit and cover it with like black. You'll love it. Insert photo here. It'll be great. But yeah, I'm just like my creativity for making videos right now have kind of gone down the drain. Like the last couple videos that I've made have been gifts from other people because I feel bad that I have them. Like I have a, like the last couple actually have been all gifts. You know what I mean? Like my family bought me a giant box, whatever. It's right here. I just filmed that one. I don't know if it's going before or it's going after this. I'm thinking about just like posting this as is. Boom. Let's have some raw media footage. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just feel overwhelmed lately. I feel like there's so much going on. I have school life. I have my work life. I have my home life. My social? When was the last time one of my friends saw me? Sound off below if any of my friends are actually watching this. I do not make time for anyone lately because it's like, I'm hanging, I'll go to like my friend Grant and Nikki's, right? I talked about them before, they just got married. And I'll be sitting there and all of a sudden I will have a pit of anxiety. Like, why am I just chilling here? I have so much stuff to do. I feel like I don't deserve to chill. And that's kind of why I haven't been making or posting videos because it's like, you don't have time. You do not have the time to just sit there and post a video. I'm going to Trisha paid ass this one and just like upload it today. No nothing, no editing, just boom, here you go. But yeah, I'm just feeling super overwhelmed. Um... But the good thing is, is Ryan and I are doing absolutely amazing. We are in the mix right now of planning our European trip for when I graduate at the end of this year. Ugh, well, not this year. I mean the school year. You, 
If you don't know what I mean, I mean the school year. But we are going to Portugal to watch our best friends Aaron and Adam get married. Then we're going to Amsterdam. Everyone's going to Amsterdam after, which I'm super stoked for because I've never really traveled with other like couples and groups and stuff. So I'm stoked for that. Then we're going to like Paris for a couple days and then we're gonna spend a whole week in London. London is my absolute favorite city to go to. I love the men's. Oh my God, the men in London. Let's just like pause for a minute. Anxiety, gone. Anyway, so we're doing that. Ryan and I are doing great. We're always doing great, though. We're a, we're a solid almost decade couple. Nothing can really bring us down, although I had a terrible dream last night, and he did something I didn't like, but I couldn't wake up and yell at him when he said goodbye to me because he looked so cute. But anyways, I don't know, guys. Like, this is just like me talking to you. You know what I mean? Scissors. <laughs> These are uh, Jamie Oliver scissors, and I love them because they separate, and you can use it as a knife. Anyways, this is not a home channel, so let's not. Um, what else? What else? What else has gone on in my life? Nothing. Honestly, guys, like... Nothing has really been going on. Like, my beard's a mess, my hair's a mess, I need to clip my nails, like, just things are just, they're piling up, you know what I mean? They're just piling up. But I'm proud of myself for going back to school older, and you know what, maybe the anxiety comes from, like, I never really started getting anxiety until I turned 30, so, like, that's a real thing, because when you get older, things just start piling up, and you can't... It's harder to get away with shit when you're, excuse me? <laughs> it's hard to get away with shit when you're in your 30s. It's not, people are not so forgiving for you because you're older, you're more experienced. You should um, get your shit together, I suppose we could say. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. What am I doing with my life? But yeah, so, and my YouTube channel is not doing so well. I mean, I've always said, like, I really don't care if it, like, becomes anything huge or, like, whatever, but, like, it's discouraging sometimes. Like, I was so excited about my last video where Ryan was in, and I think it got, like, 45 views or whatever, and it's, it's not about the views, it's not about the likes of comments or whatever, but... You know what? It kind of is. You take time out of your day to make these videos, and I don't know. I'm just hoping that maybe one day I look back on these and think, like, what a thirsty little bitch. Like, shut the fuck up and just make your videos. You know what I mean? But, yeah. Um, exciting news. Exciting news. Nothing really exciting. I mean, my friend just had a baby, but that's exciting for her, not me. <laughs> I feel like I'll see her less now um, because I am busy with school. She'll be busy with that. She lives far away. I mean, not that far, but... Yeah, I'm just feeling, I'm just feeling it, you know what I'm saying? I'm just feeling the feelings. The vibes are super dark because I just don't know. I don't, I don't know. I just, I just want to be honest with you guys, you know what I mean? Like, I can't, I can't like dig deep into my soul and grab things at the moment because I just feel at a loss. With creativity, I feel like I'm, everything I'm giving, I'm giving to school. Even my work life, I feel like, is suffering. Like, I just don't want to do anything at the moment. I just want to stay at home and watch Netflix. In my bed, under my comforter, in a dark room, drinking, well, water. I only drink water, really. And, oh my god, have you guys seen the new Sabrina? It's so good. Sabrina... The Dark Chronicles, I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's on Netflix, and it is amazing. It is a one-day watch. I binged it in a day and a half. Um, not even. I watched, Ryan and I watched it all day on Sunday, and then on Monday, we finished it. It was amazing. It's not your Melissa Joan Hart, Sabrina, ding! It's like spells and like witchcraft, and they are Satanists. It is all about the devil. There is Illuminati symbolism in the entire thing, and it's like, you're like, oh yeah, like they talk about the devil, they have pentagrams. It's not even like that. It's like the things that are in the background where they're like, you literally made a show about the devil worship, and you're still putting in subliminal messaging behind the scenes and stuff like that. Like, for instance, 
there's a scene where they, they have a close-up of like a bulletin board and this person puts up the food guide, like the food guide. And Ryan's like, it's a food guide, they're in a school, it's important. I'm like, yes, but why did they have to choose something that is a triangle and put it in the middle of the fucking board and it's like, it's just a food guide. No, they could have put anything up there. They could have put... They're from Riverdale. They could have put a Josie and the Pussycat ad up, you know, come to our concert because they are in the realm of Riverdale and Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Josie and the Pussycats, and uh, the Archie comics are all a part of that. They could have put up anything and they put the food guide. The food guide. I'm sorry, guy. There's just a lot of subliminal messaging in it, but, like, Netflix is a pretty satanic thing. If you guys are into, um, conspiracy theories and the Illuminati, let me know because I am a wealth of knowledge about this stuff. It's almost to the point where, like, my friend will send me, like, a photo of something and I'll be in the background and be like, Illuminati. If I see a triangle with a circle in it, Illuminati. My poor boyfriend is constantly like, shut up. I'm always pointing it out. I'm always pointing shit out. And eventually, it, it, he's going to become woke. Anyways, guys, I love talking about the Illuminati and stuff like that. So maybe I'll do a whole video on that. But I want you to tell me if you want to see that. To the 45 to 50 people who watch my videos, let me know. Anyways... I'm gonna go, um, because I feel like I've ranted enough. I hope you've enjoyed this moment that we've had together, and thank you so much for watching. I have to say this, please subscribe, comment, like. That's what gets these stuff out there. YouTube has an algorithm of how they make shit available to people, and they haven't chose me yet, so thank you. Thumbnail, so much, and Tell me to keep going, because as of right now, I just feel like I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And subscribe, like, comment, and share. Bye, guys.